Hello, hi Gemini. Welcome back to your channel. Welcome back to the channel, Gemini. Um, I'm not going to be talking very loudly here because why? Because everybody in my house is sleeping and I think it's maybe about, I say one something in the morning and I need to be sleeping myself because I'm going to start my journey to Florida tomorrow. I do have a seven hour drive. Well, I'm not driving by myself. I'm going to be driving with family, but however, I need to be, you know, pretty rested so that way I don't be drowsy all through the day. Um, going down there to lay my sister to rest. My The funeral is on a Saturday. Um, I will be going live though. I don't know if I'll be doing any videos tomorrow, but I definitely be going live to give you guys updates on how to donate to the funeral if you still want to do that. Because some of you guys are sending emails and text messages. And thank you for everyone that sent their beautiful cards and stuff to my P.O. box. Um, yeah, I appreciate it. All right, let's get into a prayer, you guys. Heavenly Father, that come before you, I ask for your blessings for myself and for my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading. Use my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share, the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so Gemini, just know that this reading is a general reading and not a personal one. With that being said, it may resonate and then again it may not. Please take what does resonate with you and leave the absolute rest. The roles could be reversed, you guys. Cross watchers are more than welcome to be a part of these reads. If you are interested in having a personal reading with me, you can always connect with me using information that I provided for you guys, and that will be in the description of this video. You guys, I'm not doing any personal readings though until the 8th. So if you contact me now for personal, we'll schedule an appointment. You'll pay for your appointment, and then you call me after the eight of the month okay um yesterday was hella busy crazy i had to make sure that i got a lot of you guys readings done today um as you know i'm leaving in the morning well this is morning now <laughs> um and so i will not be doing any personals i will try to do a couple of reads for you guys here on the yt but i'm not going to be doing any personals until i get back in town okay all right, I'm just been called to pull a message here. I don't know why I've been called to do that, but yeah. Angels are saying that I need to pull some messages here. Okay, so what's, I got a hiccup still. Um, I'm hearing they are selfish. Some of you guys, you're just dealing with somebody that feels like there's a hard brick or you're bumping into a wall with this person. You can't make them love you. You can't make, they're selfish. You cannot make them love you. This is what I'm seeing, you guys. I feel like whatever this is. Uh, somebody is giving you a hard, a hard time here. Because of secrets. So this person is keeping a lot of secrets here. And causing stress. Feel like somebody's either trying to reach out or if this is not them, then this is you. But this person's running from love, though. Somebody's running from love. You love this person or whatever. This person is just running up, running from love, running from sweet love. It's going to be okay. And just to say that you need to know that it's going to be okay. The pain that you're feeling right now, it will be leaving there's a caller id stalker watching you so somebody's watching you maybe this person is giving this person information on you or, or whatever you guys may be in separation or whatever's going on with this connection but somebody is choosing to spy watch talk crap whatever they're doing somebody is just trying to be a super duper snooper in your business what is this gemini all right angels tap into the energy of Gemini, please. Gemini and the no contact. Um, what is that I need to share? Angels, universe, my spirit guides, my ancestors, my higher being. Tap it into my inner strength and my intuition to give Gemini these messages here. Messages of concern. What is this that I'm feeling here, please, for Gemini at this time? message for Gemini please angels and spirit 
Okay, so we have the Eight of Swords here. So someone is either feeling very restricted, very tired of, very changed up, being in isolation. Maybe somebody's keeping you away from your friends and family, or this is how you feel in general. Like you just don't want to associate with anyone right now. But there's definitely a King of Pentacles that's coming through. I feel like you're either wanting to obtain some kind of a security or balance with this King of Pentacles person. This could be a Virgo, or this could just be a Gemini. Gemini on Gemini, okay. Um, but I really feeling like you know it's all about discipline right now with this King of Pentacles, or for some of you, it's just about abundance. This person is very good with money, um, but because they're very good with money, they may not be good with love as well. But what I do see is something new that is trying to come through. We have an eight of, Ace of Swords here, the Ace of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Three of Wands. Um, okay, so that really tells me here that there's a decision that is coming through as needed to be made. Maybe you're in that distance. You Maybe you are in distance with this King of Pentacles energy because I'm hearing long distance here. Um, I feel like there's some kind of a preparation that is coming through as made or trying to be made. Someone is looking to see the bigger picture here with uh, this decision, this choice. But I'm hearing a breakthrough. I'm hearing victory. I'm hearing mental clarity. Something is coming to light. Happiness and joy and peace is coming to Queen of Cups. Um, you know, it's all about emotions right now. It's all about what you're giving to yourself. Being calm, being intuitive, being compassionate with yourself, okay? What is this, please? Please clarify this, please. For Gemini's, no contact. Gemini, no contact energy, please. What is it that I need to do this time? Okay. What's going on? What's going on? It's a message for gems. All right, so there's definitely a feeling of, you know, options here. Somebody feels like there's something better out there. Dealing with a fantasy or illusion or just wishful thinking or just having choices here, just being very imaginable here. Somebody's just imagining themselves thinking that there's more options here. The Queen of Cups, I'm sorry, the Page of Cups in the reverse, the Six of Pentacles in the upright, and also the Nine of Wands in the upright. So you're going to have to have courage here because you might have been very generous towards this person or this could be them. But, you know, somebody's going to have to be the mature one because someone is more childlike here as far as manifesting something, as far as being grateful or showing gratitude here. Um, you know, it's just it's just time to really tap into self here is what I'm hearing. What is the Seven of Cups? I'm hearing choices here. Somebody may be even sleeping with other people here. Thinking that the grass is greener on the other side, but in all reality, it was not. Somebody's either dealing with something very toxic here. We did, I did have a peek at the lover's card here. Someone might have cars formal here or, or whatever is going on. Let's see. Okay, so we have the sun. The sun, the eight of wands, the eight of pentacles, the ace of cups, the ace of cups. The nine of wands. So something is changing, you guys. Rapidly and fast. I'm feeling like it's time that you put your life in order. If so I'm seeing this fast change is called this fast movement towards you is, is is coming in as you have to evaluate everything around you at this point. Because someone is in resistance to change. Okay. What is coming to is calling for massive, massive change. Virgo, Aquarius. Um, or for some of you, Sag, tied up, wrapped up in a situation where you either feel like you're maybe an outcast here. Why am I feeling like this? I still feel like I need to really clarify this seven of cups in the upright. Because somebody just like... I feel like they just think they have it all at this point. Somebody so somebody just feels like it's all about me right now. And I could do what I want and still have you. What is this? The devil in the reverse. I told you.
I felt that. I knew there's something that wanted to clarify the Seven of Cups. That is all the attachment. Somebody just needs to just release something here because somebody is ready to break free. Somebody is getting ready to break free from toxicity. This could be drugs, toxicity, or sexual addictions, or, um, you know, just taking your power back. Maybe you have given someone your all, your power, and this person was just taking you for granted. Being very manipulative here. Um, it's time that you reclaim your peace. Peace is needed. What is a devil in the reverse, please? What is a devil in the reverse? Devil in the reverse. Devil in the reverse is it to the two of wands. Oh my goodness. So you're making a decision here. Okay. I feel like it's time that you plan your future. Okay. With this two of wands here. I'm seeing you making progress. I'm seeing decisions. I'm seeing discovery. Some of the ones to know what else is out there. Opportunities. This could be a major success, an opportunity that is coming in. But after you kick toxicity and or send it back to where it, it grows, something, there's a shift. There's a huge shift here. There's, but there's a lot of healing, though. The two of swords in the reverse, the three of swords in the reverse, the five of swords in the upright. There's a lot of healing here. The ace of wands and the nine of swords. Look at that. Depression. Yeah, there's a lot of healing. And the queen of swords. There's a lot of swords here. For some of you, just feeling really overwhelmed at this point. Very overwhelmed, very confused, very unsure, dealing with stability. You know, and others just tampering that with that stability and having it going in the reverse. What is the two of wands? The two of wands is a fool. The fool is the set. The ten of swords. See that? That's what I'm talking about. That ten of swords. So you either feel like whatever you might have invested in and you must have. Somebody just kind of took you for granted, left you for dead, just stabbed you in the back, period, point blank. Dead on the floor, okay? Dealing with disaster and betrayal and feeling defeated and had dealing with loss after loss, back to back. Um, just crazy as hell. And, and yet want to have some kind of a new beginning with this entire situation. And in all reality, somebody's just being free-spirited because they might have missed a damn opportunity because of they, somebody was just too damn spontaneous here. And wasn't seeing a situation for what they should how, how they should have seen it. And all of a sudden, boom, the Aerophon in the reverse, okay? Dealing with restrictions, dealing with challenges, dealing with um, situations that go in to nowhere, okay? In the reverse, nowhere. Someone is not really sure, don't pray, don't do nothing. They just cause a lot of pain and, and anguish here. What is this, please? Let's see. All right, so you're rebuilding yourself back up. You're picking back the pieces. This is what I'm seeing for your no contact situation for 24. Um, you know, I'm hearing an engagement. So, shoot, you're about to be blessed and highly favored because I'm seeing an engagement that's coming through here. Somebody's about to ask somebody a hand in marriage or this could be you asking somebody here. But somebody's about to pop a question here. This is coming in, but I really feel like, you know, at this point, you're either feeling very frustrated, like it's never going to happen, but I'm seeing it's going to happen. I'm seeing investments. I'm seeing someone ready to put some kind of a work in and just reaping the fruit of one's labor. You're getting ready for high achievements, um, but I feel like, you know, somebody knows what they want, but this is all about building yourself back up, money, love, family, whatever, walking away from this three of swords and this two of, and this two of swords. Because it's a lot of heartbreak here. For some of you, you're still in the healing phase here. Um, third party situation gone wrong here. This person is still being hard to deal with. Where you, you're still really trying to understand why this person is so indecisive or whatever. Making bad choices, uh, yet calling truth, but yet calling war at the same time. Night and day, energy that has been blocked by emotions. What is this phase? The five of wands. The five of wands, the six of swords. So you're making this decision to either move on or being stuck, okay? Um, 
some of you want you're trying to be passive or just trying to deal with a transition as smooth as you possibly can but some of you you're walking away from a situation where you're leaving everything that you have built behind and i feel like it is needed more than ever because yes there's too many disagreements is what i'm seeing back to back to back and then we're also dealing with this um eight of cups the eight of cups in the reverse you guys okay so this is a feeling of being hopeless or feeling hopeless or dealing with hopelessness or someone is just drifting or walking away from whatever okay um for some of you you just can't be bothered or this could be them somebody just doesn't want to do it anymore i feel like the heart is with them but something is not willing yeah there's a lot of betrayal still coming through here but there's an apology so someone wants to come in and, and say i'm sorry here but feeling like they're not sure if you're going to be accepting this apology because of what they did this could be an aquarius okay but this could be a scorpio someone wants to say i'm sorry for sure this person may be dealing with financial problems right now, though. This is what I'm seeing. Let's see. What is the nine? The, pet, the nine of cups in the reverse. I'm sorry, what is the eight of cups in the reverse? What is the Eight of Cups in the reverse? All right, so there's an apprehending that is coming in. This is all about structure for the new year. Um, I feel like you shouldn't just wait and just stand there and do nothing. Do what you want. Build your life up. Release what needs to be released. Forgive what needs to be forgiven. Um, be a quick thinker as far as manifesting something new. Um, I really feel like right now it's all about your independence here and not just being self-destructive or dealing with people who are self-destruction here um and causing delays this is what i'm seeing someone is just making something get worse than it really should be and i feel like it's time that you really set your life in stone where it needs to be set major opportunities come in do not miss this this one because once you let this opportunity leave or be left behind i'm hearing it's going to take a very long time for this opportunity to come back towards you okay so make sure that you grab it and you make use of this one this time around all right this is going to be your no contact you guys i hope that it did resonate with you gemini please do not hesitate to give it a thumbs up on your way out this is how you support your channel and this is how your channel grow also you guys pray for me as i'm praying for you and with that said always remember to seek first and you always find bye guys